Hello everyone. Today I want to take a moment and talk about the events of January 6, 2021. A day that will be etched into our memories forever. So now after the insurrection has been done, people are talking about sedition. Maybe there will be penalties to be paid by people. Now the crying begins. The radical left Trumpist are now crying and begging for forgiveness. After they went into our nation's capital, went into the people's house, pissed and pooped all over the place, now they wanna ask for forgiveness. Please take a moment and like and subscribe and subscribe and share and then like again to things normal girls do. So reports are now surfacing that not only did this insurrectionist mob go into the people's house and steal and vandalize, they also pissed and pooped and smeared feces all over the walls. And I guess they did this because they love our country so much. But now after the dust has settled, the smoke has cleared, they're asking for forgiveness, for understanding. They got a little crazy in the head that they're saying. They're talking about this is the worst decisions of their life. Trump has a long history of throwing people under the bus, of getting away with stuff where everyone else pays. And in this situation, I suspect it will be the same thing. I have no sympathy for these people because if they were any persons of color, they would not have been allowed to walk out of the house. Now here we have former CEO Bradley Runk scales. Pardon me if I mispronounce his name. And he admits, he says it was the single worst personal decision of his life. Bradley talks about how it was just poor judgment when he chose to enter a historical building unlawfully. He followed hundreds of others through the open doors of the Capitol building. He, he just said he wanted to see what was taking place inside. He claims his judgment was wrong, of course it is, more so that they lost. And he is deeply regretful. Sure he is, now he's worried about his own ass. But still I point out, he's alive to be remorseful. Now he calls himself a law-abiding citizen and he condemns the violence and destruction that took place in Washington, D.C. This is not the actions of a law-abiding citizen. This is the actions of someone who has gotten away with breaking the law so they feel invincible and they can do whatever they wish. Certainly not a law-abiding citizen would have raced into D.C. to do this. Mr. Bradley, the law-abiding citizen, doesn't say it's a crime of what he did. It's just a, quote, indiscretion. So I guess in the future we can all use that term to get out of trouble. That's our get out of jail free card, right? Oh no, officer, it's just an indiscretion. He has donated like $30,000 to the Republican Party. So he's not poor white trash. He has since lost his job as well he should and he is facing federal charges. They should be felonies with jail time. Now make no mistakes about it, this was a violent coup attempt. This was the executive branch of government trying to eliminate the legislative branch of government. This was the number one man trying to eliminate the number two and the number three. This was an all out attack on democracy, our way of life. And this was really an attack on each of us individually. Now this next one here, 
I'm going to let him just do the talking and you can listen to him for yourselves. I just, I just got in the way. I just got in the Capitol building. I was the first one. I hopped down into the chamber and I was the first one to sit. And Nancy was the Look out. She's, she's a traitor. She's treasonous. Like, I'm sitting here and uh, I don't, I don't know what to do. Like, you know, I'm in downtown D.C. I'm all over the news now. But, like, I'm just like every single one of those people that was marching, like, a peaceful protest, came here to represent America, represent... We're tired of being lied to. We're tired of people stealing, stealing, you know, from us, stealing our freedom, stealing our liberties. And, you know, I didn't hurt anybody in there. Like, yeah, I did sit in Nancy Pelosi's seat. Like, she, she shouldn't be there. She's not... She doesn't reprimand... Rep rep uh, represent the American people. And, uh, you know, the... I represent, you know, I'm just a normal person that, like, loves this country and wants to maintain our freedom and doesn't want to sell out to China. See how he's trying to say what they did was not that bad? They're just like you and me while he's running around the streets of D.C. ducking and hiding. But here is what they said right before they entered the building. Violence happens like it happens, but we're not going to start it. You know, we're just, like, here to defend ourselves. With blood. And there you have it. They went there for violence. I want to thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Please give me a like and a subscribe and a share and a like. I will see you next time. This is Things Normal Girls Do.